Hello guys, Brad on YouTube, and I just wanted to do a rant right now on one of my favorite television shows ever since it came on, and I am of course talking about American Idol, and I am not too happy with the way this season is progressing. Um, I'm sure a lot of you out there know what I'm talking about. Last episode we saw Pia get voted off, and it was outrageous. Um, I actually picked Pia to win. Not that she was my personal favorite, but I thought she had all the qualities of an American Idol champion. You know, she had the looks, she had the voice, the presence, you know, and here she is, already gone, and we're, like, already just getting started here. You know, we're not even in the top seven, top eight yet, so it's like, wow, what's going on here? So, wow, P is gone. Okay, who's left? We got Casey. Actually, Casey's my personal favorite. He was already voted off, got the judges save, so he's back. Usually when you get the judges save, it doesn't happen this early, and I don't think anyone that's gotten the judges save has ever gone on to win the competition. They have survived for a few more rounds, but eventually they go as well. So even though I love Casey, it doesn't look good for him either. Haley, one of two girls left. Um, some people say... A girl is never going to win American Idol again, and I can see what they're talking about. Um, five girls in a row have been voted off. So Haley, um, her big thing is a very strong bluesy voice. I hope her the best. You know, she's got a lot of good things going on. Comes across a little bit too barroom, showgirl type. Don't think she's going to do really well in the competition, even though she has picked it up. Lauren. Besides Pia, probably the best female in the competition. Has a lot of good things going on. People compare her to Kelly Clarkson slash Carrie Underwood. Um, you know, if it was just based on talent, she could be top three. But with this new voting system, uh, it's not looking really good for Lauren either. Oh boy, I hope she does well, considering that Pia's gone. But wow, what can you say? Now Stefano... He's another one. He was a wild card to just to get into the competition. Now, all of a sudden, he's still in it. What's going on? Stefano, not a bad voice, but he's not, um, you, know, you know, arena quality, put it that way. I can't see why Stefano is still in it, except for the fact of his looks. You know, he's, you know, he's, you know, he's definitely in the Cougar voting bracket right there. Stefano needs to go. Jacob, oh wow, this guy, what is his deal? I mean, he's got a very interesting voice, that gospel thing, kind of like gospel meets glee. Oh, but my gosh, and he's he's going to go soon because he's just too much for for this competition. James, he's kind of like the modern day Adam Lambert. Um, his good uh, thing is that, uh, you know, he's not openly gay like Adam Lambert. I don't think he's got the quality of talent. Um, but uh, I don't know. He should do well with this new voting system. And then we got Paul. He's kind of like the modern day Bob Dylan. He's uh, he's kind of touch and go week to week. Um, you know, he's artistic, but he just has no voice whatsoever. And then finally we got Scotty. Scotty, oh my, he's he's like one of my least favorite um, of all time. When I think of Scotty, I think Sanjaya, I think Taylor Hicks, you know, all wrapped up in one. This guy, I mean, what what is it? Why do people like Scotty? It's like this isn't even a country competition. It's supposed to be American Idol. It's supposed to be a pop song competition. And I know Carrie Underwood, Kelly Pickler. I know they were country tinged, you know, you had Josh Grayson, he was country, but this guy, I mean, his looks and, you know, there's a couple baritone notes that he hits, which anybody can hit, you know, any anybody over the age of 13 should be able to hit those notes, but he's probably going to win, Scotty, you know, a cute little boy with a cowboy hat, he's probably going to win the competition this year, because we're letting... All these girls, women, women that, you know, need a cold shower are voting for these cute kids instead of the talented people like P.M. Casey. 
So, yeah, I'm going to still watch the show. I love I love American Idol. I love music. I love singing competitions. But, wow, I'm really getting fed up, just like everybody else. So there's my little rant. Um, I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll talk to you guys later.